Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate the integration of two N intercoms and access unit readers with the Milestone X Protector system. Today we'll use our 2N Access Commander plugin for XProtect to enable full integration with the 2N ecosystem. In Milestone XProtect, operators can monitor video streams from 2N IP intercoms alongside other IP cameras such as Axis. This means they can see exactly what's happening in the building and at the entrances and exits. I've also linked the intercom to a door or an access point in Milestone. The avatars you see here help me validate the identity of a user against their stored image. Now I'm going to use a blue fob belonging to someone else. When I tap in, we can clearly see that the face in the photo doesn't match the one in the video stream, so the event is logged. Now I tap in with a different fob, my own, and we can validate that I am the correct owner of the credential. I can even enter by car as the license plate number is set as my alternative credential in the 2N access commander. Let's do a test. Keep your eye on the panel to the right as I bring the license plate nearer. And there's that image validation again. Thanks to the 2N access commander plugin, you can also see a list of events, doors and cardholders details such as the zones and groups they are linked to. Plus, we can access video recordings of the door access event to be able to go back and check what happened after a security breach. Let's see now how Milestone users can control doors. At the top here is a small icon of a door. This represents the state of the door. Since we're able to integrate with Milestone's visual floor plan feature, we can see the door represented as a graphic here too. Back here on the video feed, we can add four overlay buttons, door trigger, door hold, lockdown, and return to normal state. There's also the possibility to speak with the person at the door via the intercom's speaker. When I trigger the door opening overlay, the door state icon here changes to green to show the door has been opened. This is easier to see in map view as the icons for the doors are bigger. Next, let's try door hold. This function keeps the door temporarily open until I take further action. This is useful if there's some maintenance work being done at the office. Lastly, lockdown blocks the door even if someone presents a valid credential. This status is indicated by red door icons. Lockdown keeps an area fully ring-fenced in the event of an emergency such as an intruder on the premises. We can also access each of these controls from the device view, giving the operator more flexibility in how they use the functions. Finally, let's look at how you can control the doors directly within map view. By clicking on the door, I can see the functions available for it and trigger all of them directly from there, allowing the operator to clearly visualize the premises. This makes it easy for the operator to be sure that they're controlling the right doors. The last situation that we'll explore is when a visitor without a badge wants access to the building. When they press the button on the intercom, the system triggers a pop-up request notification. The operator can unlock the door for them. They can also use the speaker icon to start audio communication with the visitor and press the microphone icon when the visitor wants to speak back. This is how we combine access control and intercom functionality for XProtect clients. That's all from me today. Thank you for your attention.